Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dual Destinies. We are still on the second day of investigation for Turnabout Reclaim, aka the DLC case, and we were talking something with Sasha. I know that much. <laughs> and if there's blood on that rock, then that must mean that the victim's death occurred after the rock was moved. Around what time did you finish up cleaning? It was about 6 a.m. So that place that places suspicion on whoever met with the victim after 6 a.m. So Azura Summers was the trainer before you? That's right. She was a year older than me. She taught me all about how to command Orla. I bet Azura and Sasha were like sisters to one another. She was the one who taught me the signals for the singing and lifesaver tricks, too. After she died, I swore on this charm. I vowed to become a great trainer someday, just like Azra. I'm gonna be a Pokemon. Okay, no. <laughs> what is that charm? It's a keepsake to remember Azra by. She always wore it. She told me once that she and her boyfriend had matching charms. I never found out who he was, so I couldn't give this one to him. I've had it ever since. You're keeping the memory of Miss Summers alive. The captain always carried around a memento of Azra, too. Her walkie-talkie. Huh? Did the victim have a walkie-talkie on him? Maybe I should show Sasha the victim's photo and see what she has to say. Well, sure, okay. Is it that one? No, I guess it's hiding underneath the picture. The victim didn't appear to have a walkie-talkie with him at the time of, this, of his death. Huh? But I talked to the captain on his walkie-talkie before I started the cleaning. But there's no walkie-talkie shown in these crime scene photos. I don't understand it. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie with him. Maybe the culprit took it away? Hmm. Maybe. But what would be the point of that? I better organize the data I have on the victim in the court record. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie by his side. It was the walkie-talkie Azra used right up until her death. In the middle of the show, the orca, the orca brought Azra up to the surface in her mouth. She left tooth marks in Aura's walkie-talkie. Uh, walkie the captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him so he never forget. So the walkie-talkie was really important to the victim. But, now the captain is dead too. I'm the only one left who can protect Orla from the ship's doctor. Protect Orla from the ship's doctor? I wonder what Sasha means. What did you mean by protect Orla from the ship's doctor? You know Herman Crab? Ever since the accident a year ago, he's been completely different. When Azra died, he said he was going to euthanize the orca. Before that, he always used to say that euthanizing animals was a despicable act. Euthanize the orca? That's horrible. They all thought that Azra's death was the orca's fault. Nobody believed in her but me. The ship's doctor always keeps poison to euthanize the orca with on hand. And if Orla had been pronounced guilty in yesterday's trial, he would have used it. He was going to put her down right away? That ship's doctor was close with both the captain and Azra, you know. I think he ha I think he hates Orla. Um. What else am I supposed to do? I always keep forgetting this step. <laughs> Thank you, notepads, though. <laughs> or else we'll be standing here for a while. This is your calendar, isn't it, Sasha? Huh? No. Mine's at the aquarium. Yeah? Mr. Rhyme said he found this one in the nap room. Huh. I didn't think anybody else at the aquarium used a calendar like that. The owner of this calendar had a meeting scheduled with the victim. This mystery person might be the killer. We better find the calendar's owner. Uh... 
I guess we better look into Dr. Crab a little more. Boss, let's go see Dr. Crab. I was just thinking the same thing. We have a lot of questions to ask him. Yes, we do. Oh, it's Pearls. And Rifle. What are you doing here? Rifle came in here, so I followed her. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to deliver Rifle to him. I completely forgot. Oh, Rifle! Ah! What are you doing? Stop that! You silly mother penguin! What if you injured my spectacular genius brain? D Dr. Crab? Are you alright? Huh? Oh, it's you people. I see you brought Rifle for me. Uh, Rifle was really laying it into you. Well, she hates me because she thinks I took her baby away from her. Peep! Gee, Rifle looks so... happy. Is she actually playing with Sniper? Ah! Stop all this cacophony! The biological parent and the caregiver parent locked in a struggle over the child. <sighs> Do you think you could hold this lily mother penguin down for me? Alright, I'll try. Um, what are you doing? I think Rifle just threw something up. Oh, I'm getting food for Sniper out of Rifle. Mother penguins stock up food for their bite for their babies in their stomachs. They break it down in there so that it's easier for the baby to eat. Wow, you sure know a lot about animals. You're trying to pick a fight with me, aren't you? Again, aren't you, young lady? Yes, I know a lot about animals. I am a licensed veterinarian. Hmm. Rifle certainly is in a bad mood, even for her. Is Rifle okay? Hold on. I'm checking her now. Girl in the strange outfit. Could you turn Rifle over on her back, please? Alright. Rifle, I'm just gonna turn you over, okay? Man, I thought he was talking about Athena. <laughs> Oops. What's this? bottom of her feet are pink. Oh no! What kind of sickness is that? We have to get her to the doctor! Uh, Athena, get a hold of yourself. Dr. Crab is a veterinarian, remember? It's just something she stepped in by the looks of it. It's her stomach that's the problem. There's still something in there. Here we go. Hmm. Looks like she swallowed something odd. I know this penguin will eat anything, but where did she pick up something like this? Son of a gun. I'll have to talk to Marlin about her care. Dr. Crab, maybe see what the what was in Rifle's stomach? Huh? Please be quiet. I'm try I'm busy right now. Busy? But you're just staring at that weird machine. I'm checking to see when Rifle ingested the foreign object. He just keeps looking at that machine. He won't even glance our way. Now I'm really curious to know more about his monitoring system. Could you tell us about the monitoring system you have here? It's a collection of electronic medical records for all the creatures here. With this system, the camera footage, I can monitor the creatures 24-7. I won't tell you any more than that. It's private company business. But medical records are usually just a history of past medical exams and data. I never heard of any that could monitor 24/7. Good point, Mr. Lawyer. I can see years no. F I can see there's no fooling you. But why would you want to fool me? Oh. This guy's going to be a tough nut to crack. I have my reasons. Huh? This looks like the charm Sasha had. Dr. Crab, do you know anything about this charm? 
charm? Hey, leave that alone! That belonged to Azra! What was Azra's charm doing in Rifle's stomach? That's odd. When Sasha was telling us about the charm earlier. Sasha said that she had Azra's charm. But that charm is still on at the detention center. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't Sasha say Azra and her boyfriend had matching charms? So this second charm must be the one that belongs to Azra's boyfriend. Dr. Crab, is it possible this charm belongs to Azra's boyfriend? I refuse to talk about such personal details of the deceased. Subject closed. Oh, Alright. Sure is touchy when it comes to Azra. Azra Summers. Yesterday was the anniversary of her death, wasn't it? That's right. She was killed by that orca. Do you really think Orla killed her? I... I don't believe it. Who can say if the orca did it on purpose? But the fact remains that she killed Azra. I was right there the day of her death a, month, a year ago. I saw the orca bite Azra with my own eyes. But... is that really the whole truth of what happened? I guess only Orla knows what really happened, both a year ago and this time. Ah! I just wanted to pick that so we could actually do the unlocking. <laughs> Should not uh, rely on my stylus too much. <laughs> I want you to tell me about the monitoring system here. You don't let up either, do you, Mr. Lawyer? They're just electronic medical records and feeds from security cameras. With these, I can monitor all the all of the animals 24/7. And I say that's not true. I have proof that you can't monitor the animals 24/7 with this system. Take that. The security camera doesn't begin recording until 10 a.m. If that's the case, how could you possibly monitor the animals 24-7? Okay, you got me. I guess that was a pretty weak explanation. You're right. I guess I can't monitor the animals 24-7. But if I see anything unusual on the camera feeds, I can spring to action right away. And if I can examine an animal, I can usually tell exactly what is going on with them. Wow. He's really confident in his abilities. But I still say you can't do that 24-7. But I'm here at the aquarium most of the time. And I can go anywhere at any time to examine an animal. Anywhere? I say that's not true either. I have proof that there's a place you can't go. Take that! The only people who have access to the orca pool room are the owner and Sasha. So how can you say you monitor all the animals? <laughs> Son of a gun! So you knew about the security card, did you? Indeed I did. Yes, tighter security was imposed on the Orca a year ago as a precaution. Due to Sasha's objections, I wasn't allowed to have a card. I guess she was trying to protect Orla from him. So you're monitoring the animals with a system that's private company business. But I have to insist you tell me about this monitoring system. Now you're trying to pick a fight with me? Very well. I suppose it's only fitting that the spoils goes to the victor. I'll tell you about a ship-shaped aquarium's ecological data organizational system. That is a mouthful. So what does that machine you were using do? It's a system of ecological data organization, developed in Europe. I call it the Torpedo. What do you think? Pretty impressive name, isn't it? Torpedo? As in, man at the battle stations and all that? No, no, it's the name I gave this data organization system. Torpedo. It stands for Teleobservation Real-Time Permanent Data Organizer. Oh my god, mouthful. 
quite a name. I wonder if it's a super. I wonder if it's super admin and restricted desktop access pass protected. Oh my god, you guys, stop! <laughs> the torpedo collects data through sensors placed on or near the subjects. The temperature, heartbeat, vocalization, etc. It gathers this information 24 hours a day. All of this data is then sent to my terminal and these monitors. Wow! This torpedo sounds amazing! Does Rifle have a sensor on her too? Yes, she does. Where and what kind of sensor is attached depends on the animal. The penguins have theirs attached to the ID tag at the base of their flipper. The torpedo doesn't tell me where Rifle is when she escapes, though. It's hard to attach sensors to the orca or fish, so theirs are on the tanks some on the tanks themselves. Places where the creatures don't normally live, like the show states, don't have sensors. Okay, here we go. It's telling me the time rifles swallow the foreign object. Approximately 4 o'clock a.m. on July 20th. What an odd time. That was when Sasha was doing the cleaning. Maybe that's why she wouldn't take my fish, because she was full from the night before. But at least Orla ate it, so that's okay. Orla ate another animal's food? That's odd. She's never done that before. And then she had that e that episode, too. Better take a look at her data. Huh? Mm huh? She didn't eat anything from the evening of the 19th to yesterday's afternoon. So Rifle had a late light snack, but Orla went hungry. It appears so, but let's see. She's been eating normally since yesterday afternoon. Come to think of it, Jack was supposed to feed Orla yesterday after morning. Maybe he died before he had the chance. I'm worried about Orla's condition. I better remember this torpedo data. Hmm. I still wonder why he wouldn't tell me about the torpedo. Dr. Crab, why did you want to hide the existence of the torpedo system? Well, it's a safe system that has been approved for use in other countries. But it hasn't been legally approved in this country yet. That's why I always carry this terminal around with me. It's not something I want the police poking their nose into. You mean, you're breaking the law? Which is why I was keeping it a secret. It would create a problem for the aquarium. I had Jack's permission. He felt the animal's care was more important than the legality. But we wanted to shield the rest of the staff, so we kept it a secret. But breaking the law is breaking the law! But in some cases, lives can be saved by breaking the law. Do we simply allow the lives of our animals to be lost while we wait for the laws to change? Ugh, now you're twisting things around. I'd like, I'd like to see this evidence during the trial tomorrow, or use this evidence. But it may result to, in you and Ship Shape Aquarium being brought up on charges. Well, I follow my own convictions, and I have no regrets. You're only doing your job. I can't blame you for that, Mr. Lawyer. I appreciate that. Peep, 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 peep. What's that sound? Another penguin? That's my ringtone. Gee, Dr. Crab sure likes cute things. Maybe he wanted it to sound like Sniper? Hello? Crab speaking. Son of a gun! You people again! Stop harassing this aquarium! Orla was found not guilty. Why on earth would she be put down? Should she be put down? Huh? Come there... Come there on the 26th and explain? Fine, just let me write it down in my... Son of a gun, where did my calendar go? His calendar? Could he be talking about that calendar? I realize that, if it comes to that, I'll use that drug to euthanize her. Mr. Wright! He, he said euthanize her! We better ask him more about this, and I should try presenting that calendar to him, too. Dr. Crab, is this your calendar? <laughs> yes, it's mine. What are you doing with it? Mr. Rhymes found it in the nap room. Oh, I must have forgotten it there when I tried to get some rest. It sure is a cute calendar. I guess you're crazy about penguins. 
Somebody gave it to me, okay? Now, please don't tell anybody about it. It's embarrassing. Ezra designed this calendar. This one here is a prototype. She designed a calendar for this year, and then she died before it went on sale. Were you and Miss Summers... romantically involved? What? What gave you that idea? It's just that I sense sadness in your heart when you talk about the calendar. Of course we weren't romantically involved. I don't believe in romantic feelings. Okay. <laughs> he looks shaken, though. By the way, did you meet Mr. Shipley at 7 a.m. on July 20th as scheduled? No. We were supposed to meet, but Jack didn't show up. Is that really true? Sasha finished cleaning the Orca pool room up at 6 a.m. If Dr. Crab managed to get in the pool room somehow and meet with the victim, then he would have had the opportunity to kill Mr. Shipley. Who was that phone call from? Son of a gun. You heard that? Who didn't hear that? It was the Center for Dan Dangerous Animal Control calling with a demand. They said that the Orca may have been not found guilty this time, <coughs> Excuse me, but that if she ever attacked a human again, we would have to put her down. Put her down? But that's horrible! Did you agree to their demand? Animals sometimes do attack humans. And of course, humans sometimes do kill animals to protect themselves. If it comes to that, yes, as a veterinarian, I am prepared to carry out euthanization. Using this poison. Huh? That capsule. It has the same letters on it as the one that was in Orla's stomach. Did Dr. Crab try to kill Orla? Please let me ask you one more question, Dr. Crab. What is it, Mr. Lawyer? You look so grave. I heard something disturbing from the writer, Normal De Plume. The center demanded that the aquarium put the killer whale down a year ago. Put her down? But the aquarium owner refused their demand, saying it was an accidental death. But I hardly think a persistent organization would let like that would just give up and go away. I'm quite sure the power of money helped convince them. What makes you think that? Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that, each time, a large amount of money was being paid out. I think Shapeshape Aquarium might be keeping some kind of secret. And that it has something to do with the recent murder. Oh. Welp. F five Cyclops? That writer. She just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. Son of a gun. I should have dealt with it all more carefully. How am I ever going to remove all those locks? H huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but Prosecutor Blackwheel wants Dr. Crab. D Detective Fulbright! You again? You can't possibly have any more questions for me. Well, you see, we were having a little problem. We were going to call the Animal Keeper as a witness for t the prosecution. But he's being very stubborn and refusing to testify. And so we thought we'd ask you to be a witness in tomorrow's trial. <laughs> Did you really, now? Well, I'm not taking sides. I'll tell what I know. No more, no less. That would be fine! Now, if you would please come along with me. Well, looks like we'll have to continue our talk at the trial tomorrow. I don't know what secret you and this aquarium are hiding, but I'll uncover it if it'll save Miss Buckler. Give it your best shot, then. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it looks like we'll be going up against Dr. Crab in tomorrow's trial. I bet he'll be one tough customer. Okay, we better get our evidence organized for tomorrow. I'll have Athena hold on to the evidence I don't think I'll need in court. 
Clinic. Uh, Apollo, use your indoor voice. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, I found out a lot, so I want to tell you right away. It turns out that mysterious capsule is a powerful sleeping drug. Apparently, the brand name is Three Z's. Yeah, okay, yeah, it says Three Z's right on it. And they said the ship ship aquarium vet recently brought a large quantity from them. The vet? The Dr. Herman Crab. Three Z's is supposed to be for people, but Dr. Crab told them it would work on other animals, like orcas and dolphins, too. So Dr. Crab's euthanization poison was actually sleeping pills? When Orlo almost drowned today, was it because she was, she'd been giving sleeping pills? And I found out more than just about that capsule. Dr. Hipville himself gave me some information. Ship Shape Aquarium had someone on their staff named Azura Summers, right? Yeah, the one who died a year ago. Well, Azura Summers was getting a certain medication from Hickville Clinic last year. The same heart medication as Sasha Buckler. Re really? Azura Summer had the same heart condition as Sasha? Nice work, Apollo. Thank you. We'll be coming back to the office soon. Okay, Trucy and I will be here. Well, we better get back to the office and get ready for tomorrow. What are you gonna do, Pearls? I thought I'd stay overnight here and be with Orla and Rifle. I'll be ready for our telecast during the trial tomorrow. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks, Pearly. That way we can prove Sasha's innocence. To that way, when we prove Sasha's innocent, she can see Orla right away. Excuse me. I think that is it now. Oh. I love to see Sasha and Orla back together again, both free and clear. But before that can happen, I have to prove Sasha's innocence. Now we're done. Yeah, we're done. Awesome! Well then, I'll see you guys during the final day of the trial in the next video. If you guys like what I'm doing, please subscribe, like, and comment.